hey yo in this episode i want us to add and design one more component for listing our tasks so that next we can start adding redux and firebase in our application so in the component for listing our tasks we will be using a table and um, at bootstrap you can search for tables and click that first option right there tables so I'll scroll at the bottom and I want a duck table and the code for this table is just right here I will copy it I'll go back to my code editor and at our tasks let us add a new component and I'll call this one tasks we will be listing our tasks in this particular component okay so this will be a stateless functional component tasks and at our return statement we can return a react fragment and inside our react fragment we paste our table right there okay so this is supposed to be class name we have a table head with a table row and some th tags right there so the first one i want this one to be our tasks and then the second i want this one to be added on and then here is status and this status will be uh, whether a task is complete or not and the last one will be delete i will add a class name which is from bootstrap and uh, text will be info then we have a t body and in our t body we have uh, several table rows okay and i just want to return one table row this way and uh, i want to separate our table row in a separate component for one task because each table row will be displaying info for a task so i am going to create a new component for a single task and i'll call this one task dot jsx this will be a stateless functional component and now inside here we can return a single task okay so i will copy this tr inside the body tag and cut it and in our task component i'll paste it inside our react fragment so this is what we have for a single task and now inside our tasks let's import this task component so at the top first we need to import react from react next let's import our component now import task from task and let's now display our task inside our t body that way i will save that file let's go back to task and import react we can display something different from this maybe we can say learn react 2020 just a dummy date uh, let's add uh, icons in our app so that we can add that tongo icon for our status and the delete icon also to add the icons i will use material icons okay so search for material icons if you want to follow along and open that first option and i can search for an icon right here The one that I want is this one right here. So I'll click that icon and open 
this section at the bottom here and you can see the instruction for using this icon so the way you use this icon is by adding a span with class name of material icons and uh, the delete name right there so i'll just copy this and go back to our text editor and paste it where we want the delete icon to appear and uh, fix this class to class name where we have status i will paste this span tag right there but we need to change the name of the icon so to check the name of the icon so this is the icon that i want to use right there and it's called uh, check underscore circle so let's change from the read here to check underscore circle one last thing for this to work for these icons to work we need to link the material icons to our app okay so to do this you can go to when you open an icon this way you can go to instructions right there and if i scroll at the bottom here you can see icon font for the web and how to set up uh, these icons one way is using google web fonts and this is the easiest way so i'll copy this link and once you copy this link we will include it in our html file so back in our app go to the public folder and here you will find index.html file open that file and in the head section i'll paste this uh, link just before the end of the head section so right there so i'll save that file so let's go to the dashboard component import our tasks component at the top and add it uh, just next to add task and we don't need this h3 right there so i will remove it i will save this file now go back to the browser okay cool now we can see a table right there and uh, add button and the table are in contact and also we don't have any spacing at the end here so let's fix that and then come back so i'll go to the tasks component again and what we can do is to add an inline style like the one we used on our sign up and sign in component so style and i will add a margin top of 30px and then in our class name i will add a class name of container i will save that head back to the browser and now this is now better right one last thing that we can do is to change our cursor when we hover on these icons remember these icons will act like button and also i'll change the color of the delete button to red so let's go back to the text editor and in our task file i will add a class name in this right here and this class name is from bootstrap text danger so this will simply change the color of the read to red and we add a styling so style i want cursor to be pointer the same style i want it to be on our our check icon so i will add it right there i will save that this is now cool next we will start adding redux in our app 